Today I'm going to share with you mistakes you have to avoid when you visit Jurassic Park and Jurassic World at Universal's Islands of Adventure. The first mistake to avoid is uh, not stopping and smelling the metaphorical roses in Jurassic World Velocicoaster behind me. The queue has so many different details um, that you might miss if you just rush on the ride. Um, my favorite detail in the queue is there's actually a miniature ride vehicle model. They used it to teach the raptors how to chase the ride vehicles through the paddock. Um, so that's a fun little detail to keep an eye out for in Jurassic World Velocicoaster. The comments are going to roast me for losing my voice or for my voice cracking, but you know what? I just rode Velocicoaster and I screamed and that's why I've lost my voice. So this will be a fun video. So the next mistake to avoid is riding too many times, which I know um, that can be tough to know your limit when you don't come to the park every day. And even someone like me who visits the theme parks every day, um, I'd like to paint a picture for you here. So on the media day for Velocicoaster, uh, I was here with our photo and video manager, Trevor, and um, he was you know, capturing all of the photo and video of the ride. And you might see some of that actually in this video. Um, and I was enjoying the ride. Um, so by the time Trevor was done taking the photos and videos, he was actually in the station and I was in the station and he turned to me and he said, Taylor, do you want to ride? And I had already been on it twice in a row, but I was like, oh, like, it would be sad to make him ride alone. So I was like, yeah, of course, Trevor, I'd love to ride. Um, my, my world spun for the rest of the day. So don't be me and, and be careful on how many times you ride. Uh, similar story to the Pew 2 who uh, ate a lot of churros and rode. You, you got to be careful when you're riding a Velocicoaster. If you're watching older videos about Velocicoaster or if you're just not keeping up on theme park news, you might make the mistake of not knowing that there is an Express Pass line now. So if you have a Universal Express Pass, which you can purchase separately or stay at one of the top three Universal Premier Hotels, and you'll receive complimentary Express access during your stay, it's now valid at uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster, so you can skip the regular queue. Um, it still is a little bit longer than a normal Express line, but uh, a lot shorter than the regular queue. As always, I'm saving the biggest mistake you should avoid for last, and trust me, you do not want to make this mistake. The people who make the biggest mistakes in Jurassic Park usually end up in the raptor paddock, and that's just not a place you want to be. I've got to keep my voice low because these people behind me are making this mistake right now, like as I talk, but Jurassic Pop, this stand behind me, it's got great popcorn like all the other popcorn stands in Universal's Islands of Adventure, but it tends to be the busiest popcorn stand in Islands of Adventure by quite a lot. Um, so I personally would go to a different popcorn stand and I would avoid Jurassic Pop. has a really cool name. Again, sometimes it's not busy, but on a day like today during spring break, very, very busy where you can go to a different popcorn stand and get popcorn a lot faster. This is a small mistake to make, but one to keep an eye out for. Uh, you should not expect to see any grass in Jurassic Park because none exists in the era. There was no grass, so there's no grass in this whole land of Jurassic Park. This mistake might not make sense until you actually visit, but you cannot under any circumstances visit Jurassic Park and expect to actually visit Hadrosaurus Cove. Just don't do it. Don't ride Jurassic Park River Adventure and expect to not get wet. It is theoretically possible, but as you can see behind me, it creates a really big splash and the majority of guests are going to get pretty soaked on it. The next mistake to avoid in Jurassic Park is not eating at Thunder Falls Terrace. It's one of my favorite restaurants at all of Universal Orlando. And if you're a longtime viewer, you might know they have my favorite dessert as well, the Brookie, which is a combination of a cookie and brownie. Uh, I, almost call, I almost said a combination of a cookie and a brookie, which that's not true. Um, it's a relatively affordable dessert as well. Um, pretty filling. I enjoy it a lot. All the food here at Thunder Falls is really good. They also just brought back the ribs. They were gone for a while. The ribs are back. This is a great restaurant you have to check out when you visit Jurassic Park. At first, I don't know why I'm holding the fork because I, I, I don't have a knife, so I'm just going to have to eat it like this. But pretend I used the fork, I guess. On to the next one. This next group of mistakes has to do with Camp Jurassic, this area I'm in now. This is a really large uh, family play area, and most people just walk by it. You can see in the background, there's a ton of people walking by in Jurassic Park, and they're probably not going to go into Camp Jurassic. So I'm going to show you a few things that you can't miss and mistakes to avoid in Camp Jurassic. The next mistake you could make when you visit Camp Jurassic is not understanding uh, all the rules around pteranodon flyers. So pteranodon flyers is the only attraction at Universal's Islands of Adventure that requires you to have a child with you that's between 36 and 56 inches. So if you don't have a child within that height range, you won't be able to ride on a normal day. There are a few exceptions here and there for that. So like, for example, after hours events sometimes offer the opportunity to ride without a child. But uh, generally speaking, you're not gonna be able to ride without a child. Also, fun fact for you, Pteranodon actually means toothless wing. So that's why they named the family attraction Pteranodon because it's safe for children. Makes sense. Do not miss these interactive elements in Camp Jurassic. When you step on these dinosaur feet, it makes the respective noise for that dinosaur. 
comment below what you think this sound is. Ready? And one of my favorite areas in Camp Jurassic are these water cannons behind me. So this is the ground floor and then there's a second floor as well and you can uh, fight between each other. So it's something to keep an eye out for. The biggest mistake to avoid when you visit Jurassic Park is missing these beautiful caverns inside Camp Jurassic. So when you visit, you have to go to Camp Jurassic and then you have to find this beautiful indoor cavern area. And if you enjoyed this spot, you're gonna love the next video that I recommend, which is every hidden location in Universal's Islands of Adventure. I'll leave a link to it here and I'll see you in that video.